Hello, you're watching BookZone TV. I'm Leon Hawthorne. My guest today is down the line in Hollywood, California. My name is Matthew Spector, and I'm the author of American Dream Machine. Matthew, thank you for joining me. What is American Dream Machine about? Uh, American Dream Machine is the story of, of uh, two men who meet in the in the early 1960s and together decide to found a talent agency. Um, and it's sort of a story about their rise and fall and the uh, particular changes that that went on in the movie business. And, you know, by extension in, in sort of American and perhaps global corporate life in the decades that followed that. Most people already know there's a lot of backstabbing and ruthless behavior in Hollywood. So why did you feel a need to cover this subject? I feel like most stories about Hollywood, and particularly stories about agents and producers, tend to depict these men as as monsters um, of one kind or another. They they tend to be, uh, uh, you know, portrayed as as venal and and shallow. And you know, we've we've all seen these characterizations of Hollywood in Nathaniel West and Entourage. And and I wanted to to do something slightly different to to take a man who wasn't necessarily charismatic um, and who, in in many respects, might be uh, you know, always uh, lovable in his behavior, but to really humanize him and really sort of light up an aspect of the business that you don't see a lot, which is, you know, that it's that it's actually populated by uh, human beings with complex emotional makeup. Your lead character, Bo Rosenwald, he's not exactly a Hollywood leading man, is he? Well, no, not exactly. If by typical Hollywood leading man, you mean slim, handsome and... Uh, uh, you know, ready to be uh, portrayed by Brad Pitt, not so much. Um, Bo is a, a sort of a oversized, uh, temperamental, um, uh, very emotional guy, let's say, yeah. Your own father was a Hollywood agent. So how much are the characters in this book based on him or other real people? Uh, it's an interesting question because, uh, you know, in many respects, my, my father is a talent agent like Bo, and uh, and yet a man less like Bo is almost impossible to imagine. My father is uh, sort of very, very urbane and, and intelligent and, and, and lovely. Um, and yet, uh, and so, you know, on the one hand, I would say not very much. I mean, you know, the, the characters in the book really aren't directly based on real people at all. You mentioned movies about Hollywood, The Player, What Just Happened, even Tropic Thunder. Yeah. So are these books, are they for insiders, actors, producers, screenwriters, or are they for the general public? Well, in this case, the ambition was really to write something for the general public and to write something that wasn't going to get stuck with an inside perspective. I mean, I, I, uh, I, mean, I, I like those, those books very much. I like the player a lot. Um, and it's it's hard not to love Tropic Thunder, but uh, but you know that's what I was aware of in writing the book was feeling that you know even the great books about Hollywood are very insular. I felt as if well why shouldn't there be a book about the movies that treats it the way you know Philip Roth treats Newark or Saul Bellow treats Chicago? I mean it's it's just a place filled with people, and there's no reason uh, you know to to sort of let the book get stuck with that inside perspective. I thought. And from a writing perspective, you said this mm -hmm. book deals with subjects very close to your heart because your father was an agent. Your mother also worked in Hollywood. How much was writing this book a cathartic process? Uh, yeah, actually. I mean, I, I, think, that it, I think that it was. I, I'm, I'm always uh, a little wary of, of, you know, describing writing as cathartic anything. You know, it's, it's, it's not therapy, but it felt, it felt very freeing to write this book, actually. It was a, it was a joy. Excellent. Well, I hope people have joy in reading it. Matthew, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> That's the idea, yeah.